Hey, what's up guys, it's Live. Today I'm gonna show you the in-game interface of Diablo 3. So I'm gonna start by the top left and finish by the top right. So let's get started. We see on the top left that I have my group. We see me and we see the three other player. If you right click on yourself, you're gonna see invite player, view achievement and cancel. And if you right click on another player, you see invite player, inspect, trade, invite to party. Request to join party, add friend, view achievement, report and cancel. If you go on the bottom left, we see the chat that I can uh, talk to people. Uh, if we go on the bottom, we see the health bubble and we see the resources bubble. So now I'm gonna go over the action bar on the bottom. We see in total I have seven buttons. I have one button for my potions, two buttons for my mouse and four buttons for my spells on my keyboard. So you can exchange a spell from your mouse to put it on your keyboard. And you can bring it back to your mouse if you want. And there's your button for your potion here. Now the town portal. It's uh, like the portal in Diablo 2. I'm gonna show you. So I'm gonna go example to the old room. I'm gonna click the town portal. And it's opening a portal to go to the main town. So I'm back in town and I can just go back to the old room if I click back in it. So now for the skills, we have a list of six skills here that you can put in your bars. So if you want to change your number one skill example, you just click on it and you have the list of your skill. So you can change it example to Hungering Arrow. And now there's a cooldown on it so you cannot do it right now and you cannot change it right now. But when the cooldown is going to be over, you are going to be able to attack and change it again. To unlock new skills, you need to be at level 12, 18 and level 24. Uh, on the bottom here, there's a passive skill. You have three passive skill. I have one unlock because I hit level 10. And when you click on it, you have the list of all your passive skill that you can change to. You have two passive skills that you're going to unlock at level 20 and level 30. So that's it for the skills. Now I'm going to go over the inventory. So we see the core attribute, so that's the general attribute, strength, dexterity, intelligence, vitality, and armor, and DPS. We can see all the stats of your character here, the big list of your stats. Over the character here, we can change the helm, the shoulder, the neck, the chest, the glove, the bracer, the rings, the belt, the pants, the boots, and the weapon. And on the bottom, there's the inventory, like in Diablo 2. So that's it for the inventory. Now I'm gonna go over the quest and journal. So here we see uh, which quest is the game on. So uh, the quest right now is Reign of the Black King, and here is the goal of the quest. And here on the journal, we see all the books that I got from box and from boss and things like that. It's just role-playing things. I also like you can just uh, read the stories. You can listen to it. So that's it for the quest and journal. Now I'm gonna go over the game menu. So uh, you have the option. Here you have the achievement. Customer service, it's gonna open a web page and uh, it's giving some information about the game. Privacy public game, uh, you can change this if you are the author of the game. Leave game, exit Diablo 3 and return to game. Here. Uh, here's your latency, so we have uh, 100 ms. So just over all of this, here's your experience bar. So you can see when you're gonna get your next level. Here, over this, there's your buffs. So I have two buffs at the moment. And on the right of this, here's the list of debuff. So now I'm gonna go on the, the bottom right, you see the social. You can see it in game, so you can see your friend and the recent player you have played with. Here, the objective is the quest that you are on right now, so Reign of the Black King. Search for the Royal Crypt, so you can hide this or you can uh, make it show. So now I just completed the quest and I have a new quest. So just over this, there's a minimap, so you see pretty much everything that you can click. So uh, you see the shop, you see the house, you see the companion, you see the waypoint, you see the blacksmith. And on top right, you see the place where you are and the time. So now I'm gonna go over the world map. You just click M or tab and you see the world map. You see everything like in the minimap. So uh, you can see your quest here more, more on top. So that's it for the map. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed and uh, see you next time.